I'm Charlotte and I'm in Locolino's Treasure Trove and I'm going to talk to you about Pip Bartlett's Guide to Magical Creature by Jackson Pierce and Maggie Stiefvater. It was also illustrated by Maggie Stiefvaters and you have some nice fun illustrations like this. This book was published in 2015 and has about 185 pages and it's recommended for readers between the ages of 5 and 8. The main characters are, of course, Bip, Pip Bartlett and her new friend, Thomas. Um, Pip Bartlett has an extraordinary talent. She can talk to magical creatures. Um, after having had a unicorn incident at her school, she spends her summer in her aunt's clinic for magical creatures. And there she has to help solve the mystery of Fuzzles, who burst into flame anywhere and everywhere at the worst possible time but the thing is not everyone believes her when they when she says that she can talk and understand magical creatures so that is the adventure of Pip Bartlett um, my favorite part is um, the illustrations by Maggie Steve Potter because they just they're, they're hilarious because there's always a little explanation that goes with every illustration and they're very funny um, I can also read you a short passage from the prologue. The Unicorn Incident. Mm. The unicorns arrived right after the buses. I could just see them from my classroom window if I leaned really far over my desk and craned my neck. The trailers they came in had the words Eversun Unicorn Farms printed on the side. If I leaned in farther, my father said as my elbow accidentally knocked a box of rocks onto the ground. Whoops, I replied in a sorry sort of way and ducked to collect them. My father didn't normally come to school with me, but today was career day. The halls and classrooms were full of mothers and fathers eager to talk about their jobs. Both of my parents were geologists, which was why dad had brought the box of rocks. He called them geodes to show my classmates. Studying rocks wasn't really my thing, but I felt my dad was still a lot cooler than the parent who made zippers. So that's the beginning of the prologue to kind of give you an idea of the style of the book. Um, I really recommend it. It's a really, really fun read and I hope you come and pick it up sometime. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you around here very soon. Bye.